Wow, just wow. What if I told you a broken bone could be fixed in less time than it takes to microwave popcorn? This isn't sci-fi. Chinese scientists just created a bone glue that sets in three minutes, without metal plates, without screws, without a second surgery. If that doesn't blow your mind, honestly, what will? Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. This is one update you do not want to miss. Meanwhile, I'm Jessica, reporting from Vibra Visionary TV. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going deep on a medical breakthrough that, honestly, has me emotional. Okay, let's set the stage. Right now, if you shatter a bone, especially something complex like a wrist, ankle, or hip, you're looking at major surgery. Surgeons open you up, reposition the fragments, screw in metal plates. It's invasive. It's costly. And months later, you often need another operation to remove those metals. <sighs> it's painful, it's stressful, and for elderly patients, it can be life-altering. But what if there was another way? Enter Dr. Lin Xianfeng and his team at the Yanjiang University. So these scientists were walking by the ocean one day, and they saw oysters clinging to rocks. Not just clinging, they were cemented on through waves, through storms, through salty, wet, harsh conditions. And they thought, hmm, what if we could copy that? Turns out oysters release a special protein-based adhesive that works even underwater. So the team got to work years of research, and finally, they reverse-engineered nature's secret. Wow! Let's break down how bone O2 actually works. You apply it directly to the fracture. Within seconds, it starts bonding even with blood and body fluids everywhere. Most glues fail in wet environments. This one, it thrives. And get this, once the bone is healed, the glue safely dissolves. Your body absorbs it, no foreign left behinds. So, now, here's my question to you. Would you trust a glue to fix your broken bone? Seriously, comment below, yes or no. This isn't just lab science. Over 150 patients have already been treated with bone O2, and the results are apparently remarkable. One trial showed a complex wrist fracture was fully repaired in under three minutes. Normally that would take over an hour. That's not just convenient, that's life-changing. Shorter anesthesia, lower infection risk, less time in the hospital. But, and this is a big but, should we be moving this fast? Are we absolutely sure there are no long-term side effects? What do you think? Is speeding up surgery worth the potential risks? Tell me in the comments. Now, this isn't just about bones. It's part of a bigger trend. Scientists using AI to decode nature and then mimic it. We're seeing spider silk inspire skin grafts, gecko feet influencing bandage adhesions, and now oysters guiding bone repair. Wow, it's beautiful, honestly. And with AI models getting better at predicting how these materials behave in the body, we're entering a new era. Which makes me wonder, if you could use bio-inspired tech to solve any health problem, what would it be? Let me know below. Of course, with big innovation comes big questions. Who gets this first? Will this glue be available in public hospitals or only in private clinics for those who can pay? And what about regulation? Different countries have different rules. That could slow down global access. <sighs> then there's the ethical layer. Did animals play a role in this research? Should they have? How do we balance innovation against ethical responsibility? I'm curious where you stand. So where does that leave us? This isn't just a new product. It's a new philosophy. Nature has answers. Our job is to listen. Whether you're a patient, a doctor, or just someone who loves science, this affects you. If you want to stay in the loop on medical breakthroughs like this, subscribe to the channel. Follow for more updates. Drop a comment with your thoughts. I read them all. 
hit like if you learned something, and share this with someone who needs a little hope today. Full coverage and sources are linked in the description. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye for now.